Oh, no! <laughs> Did we get a bad end? What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. You got all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. Good job? Yep. Yep, they got it right. No, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense. Shing. It's the same as always. You just like all the other class trials. And I'm gonna end it in the same way. Thrills, chills, kills. It's time for your heart pounding, positive, thrilling punishment. Wait, what do I. Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh god, did I get a bad end? Did I get a- oh lord, did I get a bad end? Oh, 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 my God, he's alive, he's alive, the AI that you hero made, he's alive, he's, oh, 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 Oh my god, this game! This game! <laughs> oh. 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 oh god! This game is a rush! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh lord! <laughs> A flurry of emotions just went through me throughout this in that entire cinematic. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I'm... I need water. I'm gonna pass out. I haven't had food yet. I'm so sorry. felt so many emotions but the one emotion I felt the most was despair and fear this is the true meaning of despair ladies and gentlemen I just experienced it I was at the edge of my seat so close to that very end I am sweating I'm sweating bullets right now I'm okay let me get some let me get some sugar real quick Okay, let's finish it. Let's finish this, whatever this just was. Huh? What's this? What's going on? Um... Hey, was that... Uh, um... Uh, uh, yeah, it had to be. This is... Alter... Alter Ego. Yeah. Alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from this stupid guy? Yeah. He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell! I don't believe this. It would seem. It seems you finally made a miscalculation. Hmm. Now, you miscalculated from the very beginning. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words, what I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, why are you taking, talking like you already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch, an itch. The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never gonna see him again. Yeah to waste away in the garbage stream pit. In a way, that's even better than special punishment. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna have gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> Um... Is he... gone? <clears throat> hey, Kyo hey, Kyoko. What's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're on this... We're the ones being trapped this time. We're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words... Now it's a mastermind that's ensnared. Well, what did you say? What are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. I want to know so bad as well. The massive high school towers all over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope Speak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school name for, of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be safe for life. Set for life. <clears throat> With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends cream. It's uh, it sends a cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in nations in nations' future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. The two things you need to uh, attend. The two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be a very best at what you do. No ordinary student would enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate student, was me. Hmm? Wait. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of the hard wooden desk. My body felt... Heavy. What is what is going on? It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boarding class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't actually. It wasn't any classroom I've ever been to. Did it? Res did the whole thing reset? Huh? What the heck is going on? He didn't. Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then... That thing to the right looks very familiar. I believe... Yes, I believe I actually saw it in a trailer. This was in a very beginning trailer of the game. Where they showed somebody being launched off by Monokuma. I think. What's all this though? I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream. Inside a hopeless nightmare. No. This isn't a dream. I could tell. Because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern. With the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. This must have been some kind of... Underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. This was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in here till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friends went through to save me. I remembered all too well what just happened. Alter Ego. Save me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself, and for my friends. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First step was to start looking for a way out of here. What can we find? What can we identify? A couple of things around the area. Scan the debris. 
Is that an airplane? How did something like this wind up in the school's garbage pit? What else we got? This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. That's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. That is a tank, actually. Shit. Is there anything else? On top? Nothing. There's only the door here. Time unknown for us. Oh, shit. It's locked. No matter how many times I push or pull or kick at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here is not gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not gonna get out of here anytime soon, I decide to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's so rotten. But that was pointless too. Next I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are, are all around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked on all sides. But that's still not enough reason to give up. Because... Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left, after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And, I've, and all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of a sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. What the? The strange sound pierced my sound isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, a pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over here? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Investigate? Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Wait, what? Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who- Did Ki- Wait- Kyoko, is that you? It smells... awful. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm really, really, really trying not to laugh. It's hard to not laugh. This place smells awful. Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad- I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of garbage in here. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash that faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Oh, God. When I say Kyoko best girl, the game knows Kyoko best girl. Seriously. Come to rescue us. Go down a garbage chute, probably. But that's probably where she went, right? In order to get us and rescue us. And get us, even get us some food. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she's holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Whew. That really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> So you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can still keep going forward is about all I'm good mm -hmm. at. Well, that's not much of a bad thing to be good at. Okay, let's talk to her. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt. Or... no. To atone. Atone? You... During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew? Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me! No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do that... to do the same for you. However... But listen, now that I'm trying... Not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. 
Why do you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... In other words... Is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some reason to, for coming to Hope Speak? Indeed. That's right. At least I did once. Once? I... Until recently. I've forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Huh? Amnesia? Then, is it really true? You lost your memory. Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At the time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. Oh! So that's why she is an ultimate unknown. Because she forgot. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. That probably could have been reason why it was omitted from her ultimate. Right? Because she was the ultimate mystery. And Barbara was admitted by the mastermind for this. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow, they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean... Somehow, my memory may have been connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if you say it's true... What would you say is true? Why didn't you ask the rest of us for help? Why is that? If I did that, we all, we all, all, and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind is one of us? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However, That being said, there was a limit to that, what it, to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked her to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was my intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There was no way an ordinary kid like me could have been mastermind. I need to open up some water here. One sec. Get a little bit of sniffles. Okay. Let's do it. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Yeah. It's just like the dream I had before, but... Why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just... I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help right, the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I, I was convinced. I think... That's just her personality. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So, how did that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability. What everyone should have known for me... Known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. I 
freaking knew it. I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. I knew that she would have been the ultimate detective. I knew it. She is way too good at this kind of stuff. Way too good. Way, 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 way too good. She has one of the most incredible deductive reasonings ever. She is way too good at this. She had to have been the ultimate detective. Had to have been. And whatever the tie is has to be like a logo for her, for, you know, for either her, like, uh, company or something, or whatever she's affiliated with. The tie has something to do with it. It probably has everything to do with the logo and who she is. Has to have been. Oh lord, this is amazing. The ultimate detective? Correct. And the reason I came to Hope Speak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone. Who? So. Well, he was the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. The headmaster? Why'd you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my fa. Huh. Okay. That's a lot to take in. So... Your father is the headmaster. And she came here to find her father. What? In other words... I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope Speak. Kyoko's dad. Is Hope Speak headmaster? Then that explains. When Alteriga told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. I'll find a way. Huh? I. No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. No matter what. No matter the cost. So um. Kyoko, what's going on? I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole body, purpose, uh, purpose, a whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said that. I only said what I felt based on what I've seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what do you see in there? So... The room has been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean, the mastermind, right? So, the mastermind does not have to be the headmaster, but the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy was Kyoko's father. It's true. That was my assumption. Yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of a map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entire entirety of Hope Speak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Mukuru's profile and a key. The map showed me the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for fa faculty use. Some of the staff must have, must, uh, must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have been some kind of private... The headmaster would have some kind of a private room there. I assumed that, there were, that that were true. The room would likely hold more clues. So I went to check. Correct. And that's, and that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of the room. So you went there to see the headmaster really did have a private room there. However... But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So, what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is, I... the moment I saw it, I realized. Whatever is going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. We need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. However, of course, once I got to the second floor of the dorms, there were no cameras or no monitors, which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. 
It had to do with Mukuru Kusaba, doesn't However. it? Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means... Everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then, who did kill anyway. her? What can I say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuru Kusaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole the key and disappeared, and the, in a retaliation that wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean, because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules. And with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill, them, ki uh, kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one thing. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Mukuro may not have become the victim. Could have been you, Makoto. I could have become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... Yeah, I remember that. During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the gods of God of Death. What? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases, just like this. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away as I followed it. I saw the shadow go into your room. So that's how she got in. I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However. That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the mass assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And the murderer... And the murder was disguised, and the dojiki was found up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind, in an attempt to use a class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuru is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. That really, that's really bad if it's true. I mean, if the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction, and it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you and your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does that all mean? In other words. It means that the mastermind is one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair and that she is dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seemed to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking That's about right. what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that. The tragedy that happened in our classroom that we saw on the fourth floor, or the fifth floor. They're the ultimate despair? See. That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then Ooh. there, make no mistake. They're the root of all evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Oh. To be continued. Oh lord, ladies and gentlemen. Dream Island Rocket presented. Okay, I'll take that. Wait, Dream Island Rocket, what the hell? You want to save the data? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to save the data. Uh, what do we save? I guess we just save here. 
to be honest. I, yeah, I'm gonna save bef right before the class trial, right? I'm gonna save right here. Blue to me despair. Do I wanna claim a little more? I guess I could play a little more. Blue to me despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together the killing game, began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Oh, maybe there's something to do we can do with the key. Oh lord. Oh god, ladies and gentlemen, what do we do? Oh lord, lord, lord. Do we keep going? Oh, let's try the door. It's locked, but we have a way to open this door. So for Kyoko. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room. Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensuring the of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can be it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on the door, right? Hey, Kyoko, can you use a key of yours to open the door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Yoko took out the key with a Monokuma design on it, and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Yes, it opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to Lef Lef Lef. Hello, what have we got here? Hello ladies, how's it going? Breasts as a treasure of the cat. <laughs> I kind of want to say you could dress better. 